This is my Tiny Hawk Freestyle 2. Um, so I've upgraded the receiver to an XM Plus, uh, which I've mounted using some VHB just on the underside of the main board. Um, <coughs> got the antenna coming out here, which I need to sort out in a bit. I did do this upgrade and then fly it and then immediately broke an arm, so I'm just in the process of switching it all into this new bottom plate now. Um, and I've also, if I turn over, <clears throat> put on a new VTX, that's a EC Nano V2 VTX, uh, and a Foxeer Lollipop uh, UFL antenna at the back there. Um, I use the original VTX uh, power, like 5 volt on ground there, um, the VTX only it's five volts, I believe, so um, I was told that would be fine, and it seemed to work for the four minutes I flew it before I smashed into a building and broke one of the arms. But the um, the range and video quality so far is a lot better, so hopefully once this is all back together, I can do a proper test tomorrow if the weather's all right, and I can uh, see how far it goes. I'm planning to change this to an XT30 connector as well for the batteries, but um, I haven't got a charging setup for anything above 1s at the moment so i'm just holding off on that for for now but yeah that's it right i've put it back together thankfully it took a little bit longer than i'd hoped but it is all together it is mega tight in there i wouldn't want anything bigger than the Shin nano um because i noticed when i put it back together the VTX was mounted much further back and it was basically putting a lot of pressure on those two like grey sockets back there. I don't know what they're for, I think that's if you want to run motors that plug in. So I had to move the VTX forward and now it's mega close to that USB port. It was a bit concerning but the VHB holds it in, it's really strong so I don't, I don't think it will be an issue. I guess we'll wait and see. Uh, lollipops coming straight out the back, and then what I've done with the XM Plus antennas. I saw a video that Joshua Bardwell put on the basie where he's looked at the best mounting position. So I've used zip ties, like doing two jobs here one to uh, hold the motor wires down, and then two, I've run the XM antenna up along and then put some shrink wrap on. So they're both kind of pointing forwards at an angle. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to put a heat shrimp over the whole thing, but I've left a bit out. I don't see it being a massive issue. So there we go. Ready to test it. No doubt there'll be a problem. Um, I mean, the thing flew fine before all of these upgrades, but I just fancied a little project to see if I could do it, basically. So, fingers crossed. Oh, you're kidding me. You are kidding me. Yeah. I think my sonder joints is going again. Fuck's sake. So I'm finally back up and running. Um, got the new motor. I'm all ready to test it out. I've had to switch to two battery straps so I had to get these ones because the VTX uh, is kind of mounted to that top uh, plate there right in the middle so I couldn't Run the battery strap around the middle, but I think it's more secure now anyway, so that's good. So yeah, ready to test it. I'm at a new spot today, I've never been there before, but um, it's quite, I was hoping to do a bit of a range test, but it's a bit hilly there, so I'm going to probably lose signal as I go over the hill, so I'm so used to things going wrong, I'm just going to um, not push it too hard today and just have a little, little fly with it and hope nothing breaks. Uh, these are the goggles I'm using, uh, the Ishin EV. 800D I think they're called. Um, I've got TBS Triumph Pro, I think it's called, antenna there. And then, I can't remember what this is called. I really don't know. XR 5.8. They were quite expensive. They didn't make any difference to be honest with you. Um, but, I don't know, maybe I'll see the difference now. I've changed the, the stuff on the quad. I think these are great goggles though. You just look like an idiot when you're wearing them because they're so big. So that's another thing on my list of upgrades I want to do. But, to be honest, it's so expensive this hobby and I was thinking about getting a long range drone actually but having just even flown this from one side of the field to the other and worrying about crashing it I don't know if I could handle the stress of a long range drone 
Um, but yeah, maybe one day when I'm a bit better.
pretty pleased with the results. Uh, I didn't push it too far um, because I was terrified of losing it. I've spent quite a lot of money on parts and stuff now fixing this thing. I just had a bit of a scare there where I crashed it and then couldn't find it and I lost video signal and the beeper wasn't working. I couldn't arm it. Um, I managed to find it by watching back the uh, DVR footage. Fortunately, um, I don't know why the it lost power. It's all plugged in still. I haven't lost the batteries, but um, I've got it back and it's working, so it's all good. So yeah, pretty tough with the results. Um, I've been used to flying in a sim for the last few weeks on a on a on a five inch. So I was a bit disappointed with how this performed. To be honest, I was trying to do like punch outs over those trees, like split S's and stuff. But I just because of the wind and everything, I just couldn't get the power. And I think I was just slightly terrified about losing it and breaking it again. So. Anyway, today was just about testing it, making sure it all worked, which it does. So yeah, pretty tough with that. But looking forward to getting a five inch quad now.